verdict, Your Honor. What? What? what is this? Another, another truck pulling up to Daly's place. Hey, wait a minute. Oh my God. Wait just a minute. Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, FTR. What are they doing here? Well, I think they came to fight. <laughs> but who? Oh, I think I know who. Don't you think you know who? I think I know too. They have had a war of words with the Young Bucks for years. Oh, no! Butcher and Blade finding that FTR are bad dudes. Yeah, we Har don't. Harwood and Wheater came here to play big time ball here in AEW. I don't think they care whose ass they whip. Big time shot takes out Butcher and now Blade getting set up. This teamwork. Dangerous team. Oh! FTR with a spike pile driver on Blade. And now the attention turns back to where we think it was originally intended. We have seen, if you've been watching, being the elite, you have seen the letters FT. All oh, right, watch out. Butcher wanted some more, and he got some. Butcher and Blade have been decimated by FTR, and now. A standoff here between two great tag teams. FTR and the Young Bucks, in the eyes of many, including mine, a dream tag team scenario. But FTR making an entrance and making their presence felt. But you know, I haven't seen so much chemistry in a match that guys put together since Tully and Art. Yeah, yeah. But we come to the Young Bucks here. For the last 15 years, they have dominated professional wrestling, and you brought tag team wrestling the back the way Robert and I did in the 80s. Really cool. You are in your generation the top tag team in the world. You hear me? It reminds me of a tag team back in our gener generation that I remember. Thank you guys. Thanks, thank everybody. Tully, I know it's uh, been a while. You haven't been around. You're just getting caught up. So let me help you. Now, I'm not a guy that blows smoke because quite frankly, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. What I do do is tell the truth. And you two guys have taken tag team wrestling, spectacular is not a big enough word. Outstanding is not a big enough word. To a different stratosphere is not a big good explanation. You've made it something entirely different. My hat's off to you. Now these guys, You've been partners for going on 40 years, and you're still at it today. That's got to be some record. My God, you're the tag team of the century. <laughs> and this is going to ruffle some feathers. But I said it before, and I got no problem saying it today. It's the best team in the world right here. You know, Arn, I think you. Give me that microphone for a second. Watch out. You don't want to start nothing you can't finish today. Well, I got news for all of y'all. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback because he's got championship rings. The thing that makes you a great tag team is if you got the belt around your waist, you could come out here and talk about being the baddest and the best. And as of tonight, you or you are not the champions. So let's pat ourselves on the back 
and tell everybody how great we are looking in the mirror. And I've had something with you for the last year, since last Labor Day, when you came down and you jumped in on my guy's match with Cody Rhodes, and I don't understand this thing right here. Well, understand this, I'm a grown ass man and have been for some time. And I don't remember ever asking permission for anything, but I can see what's going on here, so. Okay, let me get back and finish this deal. Oh, 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 hey. oh man. come on. Timbers are, are flaring up here. And I didn't take Ricky Morton long to get involved in this. And, uh, and Dax is hurting. He's hurt his knee again. Yeah, he's, he's got that issue with that knee we saw last week. He's definitely buckled, it looked like, on that little bit of a pull apart they had going on there. Well, this is kind of insanity here. A tag team insanity. There needs to be an intervention, folks. Well, we were honoring the great tag teams, and, and Tully, Tully came in with some attitude here, didn't he? He did. Well, he's right. I agree with Tully. Yeah, it, it's a hollow, pro proclaim hollowness if you're not the champions in Tully's mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. What in the world are we watching? Oh, man. What What are they doing to Ricky and Robert? Look at FDR. Oh, no, come on. Oh, no, no, no God damn it, no. Well, wow, FDR out of nowhere with that. What was the reason behind this? Just spike pile driver. I guarantee you, just as they said, they grew up idolizing Ricky and Robert. They may have been waiting their entire adult life to do this. Well, they have, they, they played nice long enough. Well, the AW World Tag Team Champs just competed. They came out here, Omega and Page. I got a feeling that old that Page is not drinking snap. By Dax Harwood. Yeah, Dax had it cinched in pretty good. Yeah, sure did. I mean, first they were working over Omega's midsection. Now his knees, they are dismantling him piece by piece. And Paige really having problems getting up on the apron, as you can see. So Kenny almost has to fight this alone. For this, the physical dissection of another human being is in progress here. Dr. Harwood is in. Those aggressive elbows to the inside of the knee. And Omega looking for a uh, cross arm breaker here. Harwood, Harwood could feel it. Able to counter it. You see Omega trying to grab anything but that shaved head of Dax Harwood. Avoiding uh, avoiding the, Kenny, the grip of Kenny Omega. Well, they're laying it in now, man. They are focusing on one part of the body. Old school tag team wrestling here. Make the exchange, go right back to it. Off the bottom rope and just driving. We talk a lot about momentum, continuity, maintaining isolation. You're seeing all that in this this last few minutes of sequence of this tag team matchup. It's as good a game plan execution as you're going to find. And you see Omega very uneasy on his feet. It's Hangman coming over to check on his partner. All right, so that guy, Paul Turner's going to get him back in the ring here. You see Tully say, you know, getting back in the ring. Back to your corner. And unfortunately, as he walks him back, now well, Kenny now, good move by Kenny, get out of the way here. And look at what FTR did in the, in the meantime. They positioned themselves. Oh, they, oh Omega tried to, hey, Omega's so, usually so fast and so explosive, but a step and a half slower because of the damage to his knee. And that one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest doesn't win a lot of fights. And that's essentially what Kenny is right now. Yeah. He's a one-legged man. Yeah, this is this is the change in the complexion of this match. I think for the remainder of the match, Jr. Think about how important, how crucial Kenny Omega's speed and explosivity is to his wrestling style. FTR has effectively neutralized that. Yeah, yeah it is. Excalibur, a huge part of the game for Kenny Omega offensively and, quite frankly, defensively. He avoids a lot of things. He's able to counter because of his speed and coordination. And there we see FTR. Oh. Wheeler was actually using that tag rope to choke Kenny Omega. Unfortunately, that'll happen sometimes. Omega flips off the back of Harwood. He hit hard on those on those legs. That hurt his knee as well. 
Oh my God! Right, Standing switch. switch. Snap Dragon plants Harwood on the back of his head. A desperation snap Dragon. Oh, look at that cheap shot on Page. Oh! Another snap Dragon finds its home. Reach up and tag Kenny. Come on now. Sorry, I shouldn't cheer for anybody, but he was right there. Omega looking for the third one. Harwood rolls through, steps through, but oh! Wow. Omega shoved. C cover on two. Whoa! Harwood right into uh, Hangman Page. I think their heads collided on that one, and Page is still down. And that was that was just sheer desperation by Kenny Omega. He wasn't even thinking. The only good thing about this for Omega is that he's in this corner. If Hangman Page can make it back up to the apron to make a tag. And you see Harwood placing his body between Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam Page. That is the tag team instincts of FTR. Oh! Man, did his head hit the post? Yeah, it, well, I think so. It may, it may have hit the turnbuckle between the pad and the post that time, JR. But regardless, the bell of Dax Harwood was rung, and now Hangman makes the tag! Page has had time to get himself back together to some degree. He's coming in with an offensive flurry. The question is, can he close the deal here? Now he may have to close it by himself. Hangman gets the boot up, and now, oh, the clothesline takes down Harwood. Dolly Blanchard being very anxious at ringside. Back elbow there by Cash Wheeler. He comes off the middle. Oh, Hangman catches him. All the way slam. And a nip up by the athletic Adam Hangman Page. Wow. Over the top. He's ubiquitous with his offense, is Hangman Page. Low bridge. He's got a boat down, man. Both members of FTR on the outside. Oh, nice. Look at those eyes of this man. The wild-eyed, anxious millennial cowboy headed up to the top. And Boy, they moved out of the way. He was gonna, he was gonna look like he was trying to moonsault now. Why but not a look out? Dan Hangman takes to the skies and takes out FTR. Tony was trying to get the, his team out of the way. They didn't respond quick enough to him, and, and then Paige made that great adjustment. But coming, turning the corner and coming off the other side of the corner. They did move out of the way nicely, but when they cut the corner to the other side, here's what happened. Yeah, tremendous improvisation there by Hangman Adam Page. I mean, that's the coaching of Tully Blanchard at play. He knows Hangman likes to employ that Orihara moonsault. Cover, two, no. My point was that uh, FTR just didn't move quite far enough as Tully was imploring them to do. Right. But who the hell would have thought that Hangman Page was going to do what he was doing, no. what he did? Damn. Man, this is a hell of a show, guys. And we still got more to come. Mimosa mayhem. First time ever for me. First time ever, ever. And then the AEW World Championship match, our main event, still to come here tonight. Cash Wheeler went for that swinging DDT off the apron. Grabs the waist lock, hangman standing switch there. Both men jockeying for position. Oh! Man, what a shot from the outside. Harwood covers. Two. Wow. Very, very close. This all went down because of, because of what side of the ring they were on. Close to the FTR's corner. And that's why it happened that way. And FTR so good at getting those blind tags, confusing their opponent, misdirecting the attention. Now look at this. He makes the tag, and they continue to hammer on the offense. Double diving headbutts. Shades of the old British Bulldogs. Covered one, two, no. Davy and Dynamite. Man, these, this is this this match is so physical. It's just all four guys have taken so much punishment, but try to keep coming back. I'm amazed that Kenny can stand up. They're telling the other wrestlers in the back that have not competed yet, follow this. Kenny Omega uh -oh. on the apron. Harwood kicks his legs. He's got Omega. Omega kicks his legs. Who's going to win this one? Oh, no, Cash, Cash Wheeler comes over the top. Kenny Omega trying to hold on to the ropes. What in the world are they? Oh, oh! Bulldog off the apron, off the top of the shoulders. It's all or nothing here. Sometimes it's not pretty. It's just meant to maim and to put somebody away so they get that three seconds. The, the, the 
He loses three seconds. Look at this. Man, that's a like, bulldog. That's like a Steiner Brothers double team bulldog. Yeah. Wheeler missed. And Hangman up to his feet. I think FTR's approach for this match was to dismantle Kenny Omega physically and do the same thing psychologically to Hangman Page, and thus far it's been paying dividends. Good game plan, if that's in fact the way it is. Tag made. Wheeler out eventually. And there's, oh, the there's another Bulldog headlock. Bulldog on Page. Cover. One, two, no. Harwood reached back, hooked the leg in this fundamental way that he does. He just got there a little bit too late, but that was a, another perfectly executed Bulldog headlock. And you can see the disappointment in Harwood's face that time because he thought that double team Bulldog for the second time had got the win. Man, they're going to do another double team here. Or maybe not. Oh, wow. Omega swept out the leg. Oh, 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 oh Harwood, his spine hit that apron. It sure yeah, did. Right the edge of the apron, the corner, whatever you want to say. Hurts like hell, no doubt about that. The cash wheeler is just dazed, and boy, Hangman's going to take advantage of it here. Hangman. Up oh, to the top. They're teetering up there. One buster suplex by the hangman. One, two, no! Oh my God, he kicked out. Oh my God, he kicked out. I can't believe that. Man, what a match. What a tag team title match we're being treated to. Anybody's game, nobody's got a real distinct advantage. Take a look at this. What strength and agility all at the same time from Hangman Page. That was great offense by Hangman Page. I'll tell you that right now, ladies and gentlemen. And now they've got Wheeler isolated center of the ring. They're calling for, looks like they're setting him up for last call. Wheeler in big trouble. Well, there's Harwood trying to restrain Omega. And the Bucks shot Lariat. Oh, both men duck. And now, bang! Oh, no! God. Oh, that's that was the chop block, too. The toxic knee, then the chop block. The V trigger by Omega Dex Page, and then the chop block just completely cut down Omega. Omega trying to revive Hangman Page, but look at, look at this. Hardwood pulling. Oh, look at that, man. Yeah, Hardwood pulling a Page away from Omega, so there's no chance of a tag, at least an easy tag. Wheeler tags out to Dax. That was bad. And now they've got Page set up. Oh, the mind breaker! That assisted spike pile driver. Tony, Tony, he's celebrating. Yeah, he is. He says that's it. One. Two. Three. Whoa! Yeah, it's not it. Don't discount the ability, the heart of Hangman Adam Page. Yeah, don't celebrate too early, Tully. Tully can't believe it. It didn't go down right then. And, and Kenny Omega is just fighting off of his back. He can't even get to his feet. He was just thrown in right hands. Well, I heard the uh, FTR say that winning the titles would be a seven-figure difference in their pay. Well, I mean, Tully's going to get some of that, too. And now, looking forward to getting the spike pile driver. Cover one, two, three. Watch! We've got new champions. New tag team champions have been crowned. The winner of this match. New AEW World Tag Team Champions, FTR. Tell you what, those kids earned this one, man. Two North Carolina boys, they're going to do it their way, no matter if you like it or not. One of the most talented tag teams I've ever seen. At least Tony and I have seen a lot of them. Yes, we have. have Excalibur as well. And uh, that one miscue by Kenny, certainly accidental, certainly inadvertent, but Page could not get back in the game after that shot. No, that that V trigger from from Kenny Omega, we see it right here. Page went for that buck shot. Omega tried to hit that V trigger, Ooh. and that that V trigger is Kenny Omega's knockout shot. Yeah, and then the finish here, the conclusion. Spike Power Driver saves of Arn and Tully. Back in the day, 
and we've got new tag team champions. And by, by the looks of their game, FTR may be champions for a long time. And you saw Omega, he, could, he couldn't even, he could barely get up to the apron, let alone throw, throw himself into the ring to break up that pinning predicament. His knee was so damaged. Smash. Largely because of the strategy oh, of Tully Blanchard. And I agree, and Sandy Guevara starting things out. Now remember, the match cannot end until all 10 men are in. Yeah. This is a five minute one on one period. So this one on one affair will last five minutes. And this is five minutes for Dax Harwood or Sammy Guevara to inflict as much punishment on their opponent as possible. Yeah, Sammy didn't need to turn his attention away from Dax. Oh, Dax with a big shoulder tackle drops Sammy down. Sammy goes for the trip. Leapfrogs up and over. The backflip oh. off the back and the drop kick. We really don't know how good Sammy Guevara is going to be. But let me tell you, I think he's going to be spectacular when all is said and done. No he's point. still a pop. Oh, but it's a oh my God. buster. That double A's fine, but yeah, look at this, just it, out of instinct alone. You can't do it, buddy. It's submit or surrender. Well, well, it is instinct, I, and I get that. It was instinct, and you know, I almost said that this is Sammy Guevara's first match since February of this year, early February, but this is not a match. This is something else entirely, yeah. Tony. You don't even, you can't prepare for this thing. We've talked about it for so many years because there's a cage. Everybody knows a cage, but two rings. You can't Ooh. run and hide from anybody. Oh, JR, you and Tony were present for the first Blood and Guts match. You called all the action. How were those 10 men changed forever? Well, one of them was injured and never got back in the ring again. Oh, Harwood. It's a, just... a crapshoot. It's a professional crapshoot to be in this sort of an environment. And Guevara. Oh, oh golly. Right the head first into the steel. And just a jumping rider kick, the heel of Guevara's boot catching Dax Harwood on the jaw. Dax the axe. There's and, nothing much better than a motivated Sammy Guevara. And Harwood getting up to the top. Oh, oh. Teetering on disaster. Yes, me. Both Good. guys. Now remember, these guys, five minute period, like you said, JR, but they gotta remain in there after all the men are in. Yeah, they're in for keeps. They're in for keeps. So by the time it gets to the Wow, look at this. Harwood and Guevara bouncing on that top rope and that chain link fence that can rend and tear the skin. That's why it's so dangerous. Man, these two dogs are just beating the hell out of each other. Oh, Harwood! Well, that's a that's not good. Oh, I, I think he turned his knee there. Yeah, that's 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 not good. And that's knee without the brace on it. Yeah, it's submit or surrender. Yeah, and if you if you put a submission hold on a busted knee, you know the guy's going to surrender. What's he trying to do here? Remember the cage is locked. Referee on each side. Referee, each referee has the key, a key to her door. Yeah, it, it is Bryce Remsburg on the pinnacle side. Aubrey Edwards on the inner circle side. And Harwood just sent face first. He's going side to side oh, of the cage. And he's cut already. Something's got to give. Yeah, the, the flesh the, on steel. Look, steel wins every time, Tony. And, and, uh, yeah, the steel of the. That's that, that chain link fence I was talking about, Tony. Yeah, the abrasive chain link fence. That's opening him up. Whoever can get to those obstacles and use them most effectively as we're under 30 seconds to our next participant, which will be a tentacle member. Right, and they'll get a a two minute advantage and they'll have the one man advantage all the way until the all out assault begins at the end and somehow it looks like Spears is going to be the next guy. Well, it looks like he's readying himself to the. That means Sammy's got to withstand a the double off. springboard into a cutter. Just the pinnacle retreating to one ring. I, they've got Santana on that side of the ring and Jericho. Jericho, the final member of the inner circle. Here we go. The all-out assault can begin. There's your bell. Now oh. it's submit or surrender, JR. We've moved to the last phase of this match. And now we're in the submission or surrender mode. No pinfalls. Submission or surrender. And obviously, no disqualification. Duh. Look at this.
And you're talking about a standoff. A lot of manpower there. And they just over. Charging to meet in the middle. Man, guys get hurt in these environments. Somebody rolls a knee, twists an ankle. So many awkward and strange angles. And now the referees have their work cut out for them too, right? They've got to find a person to submit or surrender. They just got to have good ears. And Jer oh, Jericho with the bat in hand. He's got Floyd. It's all legal. And he is teeing off on the pinnacle. You know, JR, th this Ooh. match has certainly evolved since the time we first called the first one. There were no bats back then or barbed wire. Sean Spears is trying to trying to get out of oh. the range of Chris Jericho. 1987, Tony, great night in the Omni. Yeah, it was tremendous. And boy, has it come full circle now. Look at this. Look we at might this. Jericho choking Sean Spears on that truss. And, and Aubrey Edwards is right there. She is right there if Sean Spears gives up. Is Spears going to surrender? The blood and guts match, the all out assault will continue in picture in picture. Do not go anywhere. Jericho, the emotional leader of the inner circle. You gotta wonder what kind of game plan he put together because Jericho's been around long enough. You know he's watched plenty of these sorts of matches. Sure. They're true for those words we can't say. Student of the game. But using that chair, the chair that Sean Spears brought into the ring, now becoming Jericho's weapon in this blood and guts match. Oh! oh man, this just fine tingling. Pulverizing the, 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 the your, your back, the entire, all your back. The lower especially, back, yeah. Especially the spine. The tailbones, the hip, everything. And now Jericho going right at MJF, gouging the eyes. Ooh. Flesh on flesh, you can hear that one. This is where it all breaks down. And I'm telling you, the guys who are in most trouble here are Guevara and Dax. They've been in there the entire time. MJF hung out to dry on the top rope. And you know, I mentioned at the top, Tully Blanchard elected Dax Harwood to begin this match for the pinnacle because he has what Tully considers to be the best gas tank. And now oh, the, FTR they're tearing the uh, tearing the canvas. The canvas away from the exposing the wood. Yeah, trying to expose the, the wood. Ring. As you can see, it, it's kind of been uh, JR, it's kind of been expanded. And look at look at what Spears is doing. He's unlocking that turnbuckle. FTR, and, and now we see Wardlow and Hager. Look like Wardlow trying to counter, but Hager able to pass the guard of Wardlow. God, FTR still tearing at that canvas. Well, you they can see the fatigue. They're hell bent on our plan, wherever it may be. Yeah, you know, you, know, you called it right, Excalibur, the fatigue, trying their best to do this, but they are just spent, man. They are just absolutely spent. And Wardlow is, is locked in, but he is fighting as much as he can. Oh, Santana face first. Just hanging on, buddy. Hang on. This has been as brutal, perhaps even more brutal than we yeah. expected. FTR exposing all those yes. put that a hell pine. Of an, putting a hell of an effort into that too, man. But Ortiz with the, the mad ball. The equalizer here. There you go. Oh. Oh. It looks like a tornado has rolled through Daly's place. Look at the rain. That's all at that behest of FTR. Exposing the wood, the floor. They've got Santana and Ortiz. They're looking for the pile driver on the exposed pine. Ortiz and Santana, though, fighting out of it. Oh, oh. Sammy Guevara. Somebody's going to get it. Coming up. The spike pile driver on the exposed pine. They wanted it. They got it. Well, that could be a huge, huge turning point. 
in this match. Look at if this. can eliminate two members. Jericho with the code breaker. Sammy Guevara with the thrust kick dropped Spears. Spears was about to hit Jericho with that turnbuckle. Ortiz with Spears hanging oh upside down. Spears trying to fight that chair off. He knows all about it. Look at Sammy Guevara. Is he going to go coast to coast? He is. He's going to attempt to. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Look at the contusions on his shoulder. Sammy oh. Guevara. What the hell? Sammy went coast to coast. Border to border on that one. What a talented young man who came in here as motivated as anyone in this match. Watch the move. Bump. That's so athletic. So courageous. A tremendous collision. And Sean Spears may be effectively <laughs> eliminated from this match. Wow. MJF just got hit with a turnbuckle by Jericho. Now Jericho needs to gouge him with it. Jericho hit MJF right in the face with well, that turnbuckle of the clamp. Kills that. I think Santana might have a fork in hand. Uh -oh. oh, God. That's, that's, that's visible proof that Abdullah's been here. I was going to say, it's really Abdullah the Butcher-like. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're digging this. And Santana. Look at this. Oh! Gouging MJF with a fork. Shouts to D from oh. Santana with that fork. Well, they got MJF right where they want him, man. That, this is going to be it. They got uh, him right where they want him. Yeah, the tide has turned, Tony. It sure has. Momentum has changed. It looked like it was going to be uh, the pinnacle early on. And Jericho using the bat. Trying to choke the life out of Wardlow. But when Jericho came in, things changed. Now they're taking their turns on the head of MJF. It is all inner circle. And Ortiz grinding Cash Wheeler's face into the chain link fence and ripping at the eyes. Yep, you can see that very clearly. Fingers in the eyes and then raked them. It is time for them to end it right now. They, uh, you see Bryce Rimsburg checking. Jericho. Oh, the right hand between the eyes of MJF. Clean shot, unopposed. Found its mark. And if you're wondering, again, if you just joined us, there are no pinfalls in this match. Only submission or surrender. This unified inner circle in these jumpsuits representing where they are from. Right now, take a look at this, taking their turns at MJF. The inner circle. Despite starting this match, they seem to have the advantage, but Wardlow, the great equalizer. Oh, oh what elevation. God. Amazing elevation. And w Wardlow is just a double leg on Hager. Just Not so many men can do that to Jake Hager. No, nobody can. That's it. Oh! Man, that's an equalizer right there. Right across the, across the knee, right in the spine. Now we're going street. Uh oh. Oh, my God. Wardlow. Wardlow blocked that damn thing with power. Yeah, just, just raw, oh. raw power. It wasn't pretty, but. Wardlow got Hager on his shoulders. Jesus. Oh, and Hager God, takes what down Wardlow. What impact. This we, are, like we are going to break right now. This is our final picture in picture. This is blood and guts. The inner circle has decimated God. the pinnacle here. They have overcome the odds. And the catapult into the ropes. MJF cannot withstand much more of this. Despite being the last man into this match for the pinnacle. Oh! 
Santana Ortiz, another pair of pile drivers on FTR. Yeah, on the wood. Wow, that, that face of Ortiz says a lot, doesn't it? And did you see that, that giant abrasion on the forehead of Ortiz? You know what's amazing? There's a lot of things amazing, but the amazing, no one has given up yet. No one has tapped out. They're just all just hanging in. Well, somebody will. Well, it's just a matter of who and when and how it happens. And in the far ring, I believe it's, it's Sammy Guevara with Sean Spears locked in. He's got the bat across the throat. You see, right now, Jericho's not worrying about a submission. He just wants to pound the hell up out of MJF. And you know what? Who doesn't? <laughs> And oh, what? oh my God! What the hell? Tully Blanchard. Here we go. Assaulting Rensburg. Here we go. And he's stolen the key. Yeah, remember these referees have the key to these locks. Tully Blanchard has stolen the key to the cage. But the, you escape the cage, you don't win. But you can run like a coward. Well, he's going. Look, he's going for higher. Back on Saturday Night Dynamite, oh. live here on TNT, Tony Schiavone, JR, Excalibur, and our own version of Tony Romo, an expert who knows it before it's going to happen, CM Punk. I, d I don't know what that no, means. You I know he's a quarterback, or was. Yeah, but as, as a great analyst on football, he calls the plays before they even happen. Oh, well, so I, you're just like him. I, right? am, I, am a, I am just like him. You I are, am a great analyst. You, no, you really are. You, you called it before any, anybody great. else got it. Phoenix off his oh. brother's shoulders, off the top rope, the drop kick. And that's what Lucha Libre is about. Beautiful offense right there. Beautiful offense. Accurate, dangerous, but so effective. Nobody does it better. Ray Phoenix taking out both members of FTR okay. as Penta El Cerro heads up to the top rope. And oh, oh. the diving shot. Well, those two low blows. Lucha Brothers cover. Two, no. I believe it's to the perineum, JR. Well, we can discuss the legality of that after the show, but you can't tell me that FTR didn't deserve it. I wouldn't argue that point whatsoever. Lucha Brothers defended these AAA Tag Team Championship one week ago in a tremendous match against El Hijo del Vikingo and Laredo Kid. And here tonight, oh, oh, oh. FTR, a meeting of the minds on the outside. I didn't realize that FTR was so close to Andrade El Idolo, but I know he's been so obsessed with the Lucha Brothers. So I guess they've cooked up some sort of deal here. I'm not so sure. Oh, look at this. Top at Con Harrell and a huge plancha by Ray Phoenix. Lucha Brothers back in the back in the saddle. Again, FTR's old friend Andrade El Idolo seems to have set them up for an ass kicking here tonight. The Lucha Brothers just dismantling FTR. Well, I don't know how it came about or why it came about, all those exact reasons, but I'm damn sure enjoying this tag team match. Penta went for the sliding drop kick. Hold it. Whoop. That Triple A championship belt didn't matter because Penta landed the thrust kick to Cash Wheeler. And oh! Penta sent to the timekeeper's table. It's pandemonium down here. Things are getting chaotic, out of control. Whoa! Ray Phoenix avoids. Comes up the corkscrew kick to the face. Get that, up. Dax Harwood rolls up Phoenix. Two. Try. Oh! Got the tights. I'll tell you what, go connect with Ray Phoenix is like trying to pour smoke through a keyhole. Look at this. Ray Phoenix comes back to the roundhouse. Oh, the right hand to the jaw. And Phoenix comes back. No, oh, right on the chin. What a shot right on the chin. And look at this, Tully Blanchard. Look at him run. Look at Tully run. Senior Tully Blanchard is out. And referee Aubrey Edwards. Ejecting Tully from this match. But look at his Dax with the, the Triple A Tag Team title belt. Right in the face. Oh, just pin the man. He's unconscious. For the brain buster. 
the sheer drop brain buster, the cover, and we have new champions! New AAA Tag Team Champions have been crowned in Miami, Florida, and the winners are FTR. And new AAA Tag Team Champions, FTR. Well, by hook or crook, I guess. What a shocking turn of a on his hands and knees, crawling in like a snake that he is. Why does he slide on his belly? I picked the like spot. A, oh, a DDT! Picked the spot like a smart ring general. Oh, oh, how many times have I seen this oh. over the years? You think you got him down? And the front of MJF's trunks just got a little more yellow. He's got that. Okay, good. I was going to say the back got brown, but there you go. Right hand. You guys are disgusting. Hammer fist delivered by the icon Sting. And MJF. Oh, oh my God. MJF just landed on his head. Oh, my God. I hope he's okay. All right, he landed really hard wow. on his head. MJF and FTR. What is. Oh, God, Sting. Be careful here, buddy. What the hell is happening? Be careful, Sting. Oh my God, what a stink thinking. Oh my God! Sting! And they're standing in Greensboro for Sting! What are we watching unfold? Sting is out of his mind. He is. Damn. I think he thinks it's 1986. Here. <laughs> Look at MJF, he landed, oh my God. Oh man. It just shows the valiant warrior he is. Look at that, landing on his face and head. How tough is MJF, damn it. And then Sting flying with a crossbody. The tag has been made, CM Punk. Oh no, he's not in shape for this right now. MJF's hurting. Oh, look, look at that, Dax. Oh, took the bullet, took the bullet, Dax. took the bullet. He sacrificed himself for, for MJF. GTS. The team player, damn it. Dax, the oh, Scorpion death drop. And oh, Darby no. Allen! No, 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 no. Look at that coffin drop all the way across the ring! Here are your winners. The team of Sting, Darby Allen, and CM Punk. What a match, what a main event here at the historic Greensboro Coliseum. Oh, look at him. Crawl up, don't get in there to help your your partners. The man landed on his head in a concrete Shivani. Don't get all over MJF. Come on now, look at this. This was before the break yeah. earlier. But Dax Harwood took that GTS for MJF. Oh. And how does MJF thank Dax Harwood by running away? That's right. Well, wait a minute. There you go. We're going to get to that here. Dax, look at this. Oh, my God, on his head. Dax took the bullet. Like a key player. For his team, I respect Dax for that. That's a team player. Oh, wait. That's a team player. Yes, yes. MJF, he's, he's afraid of me. He's afraid of me. He wouldn't even touch me. You all saw it. Yes. He was running like a scolded dog. Yes, he was. You all saw it. He's a punk. He's a punk. You had and him. And it ain't just because of his name. You had him. He was running. You like were a running. You were running. He was running night. like a cow. How dare you yell at a man like MJF? He's right. That punk was running. Punk, punk. What a spectacular main event here on the first night of AEW's Holiday Bash. And coming up this Saturday, a special Christmas night edition of AEW Rampage. Sammy Guevara defends the TNT Championship against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And then coming up next week, New Year's Smash, a huge trios match. The best friends take on Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, and all elite Kyle O'Reilly. Thank you very much for Taz, for Tony Schiavone. I am Excalibur. Good night, everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. CM Pump, a damaged lower back, and then that superplex. But even Harwood felt the jolt through his spine. He's very slow to capitalize here. Bryce Remsburg giving the 10 count to both men. Look at the impact. Well, both, both guys got him some, but Pump obviously got the, the, the worst end of that deal. And now Harwood, of all things, thinking about going back to the top to take another major risk. Dax Harwood, there's a diving headbutt. He caught Punk's flush. Good, right? Whoa. 
I don't know if it would be an upset or not. In the eyes of many, it would. Yeah, well, because Dax is primarily a tag team wrestler. It bingo. Exactly right. Now ding, remember, ding, ding. In Punk's AEW career, only suffering that one loss to MJF. Well, this crowd loves Punk. They've emotionally invested in this athlete. Punk blocks the suplex uh -oh. attempt. Harwood oh and God. Punk oh, the over the over. top. Man, look. He hung on to his head and his neck Both. as he pulled him over. Yeah, you got to wonder, Tony, who's, yeah. who's hurt worse. I don't know, man. That was that was pretty damn violent. That was an awkward way to go with the top and land. Look at this. Watch how he holds on yeah. to him. And Punk, yeah, went over sideways. And now Cash Wheeler, the other half of FTR. Checking on his partner. Well, he just came out. Did he? he went back in, didn't he? Yeah, he went back in and got away to make it one on one. I, I, I trust my instinct says he came back just to check on his partner from that fall over the top. Well, but anytime somebody's an associate of MJF, you have to Wonder. question their moral well, you integrity. Know they're going to cheat. That's what we're getting beaten around the bush here about. But, but I'm glad to see that he was just really just encouraging his tag team partner on. Yeah, and me not, too. A, not attacking him or not attacking CM Punk. Oh. Punk, though. Listen to the fans on this, man. Gets his footing on the top rope. Diving crossbody by CM Punk. Two. No. Man, that was close. Oh, he floats pop. over. Look at pop here. Anaconda Vice. And he's got him locked in. Deeply. The Anaconda Vice. So close to tapping out. Look at that right hand. Harwood in deep, deep trouble. Oh, he's he hurting. The pain is there. And Punk trying to maintain control, but couldn't on that exchange. Oh, Punk catches the boot of Harwood as Harwood's trying to step through. Punk the up catch. Oh, Harwood, the back of his head struck that bottom it's, turnbuckle It pad. sure did it on hard. There's an inside cradle, countered. Oh! Man, uh, Rimsburg's hand was coming down for that fatal three count and didn't, it didn't like much. Yeah, let's give Bryce Rimsburg a lot of credit on that exchange, man. He was right there with both of them. That was back and forth as you can get. Now Dax had that in tight, but he's still struggling to his feet. Punk, the rising knee strike in the corner. No, Dax Harwood counters. Whoa! How about that? A springboard power bomb. Oh, Punk once again. That's just guts and grit, determination, heart, whatever you want to say. The CM Punk apparently, seemingly, always has an abundance of it. You see here this slingshot powerbomb. It's so disorienting. You go down and then it, Harwood, I think he lost control of Punk's left shoulder and that's the only thing that allowed Punk to kick out. Yeah, Perspiration and fatigue, Tony, right. I'm sorry. No, that's right. It was a great call there, Excalibur, because that left shoulder was open and it enabled him to shoot his, get some leverage and shoot his leg straight up. And that caused the break. Harwood. Wow, what a match, man. What a night. Yeah. We're just begun. This feels like a big one. CM Punk puts on the brakes, the kick to the face of Harwood. Harwood in the corner. Rising knee strike from CM Punk. Punk now starting to feel it a little bit. Uh -oh. Build the momentum. Here we go. Momentum, is it changing? It looks like the momentum's changing. And, oh no. What a counter. That way, Harwood saw that one coming. Now going for the sharpshooter. He's got the sharpshooter on. Shades of the great Bret the Hitman Hart for that sharpshooter. A submission tried and true. And CM Punk with all that damage done to his lower back. You know he's got to be in agony at this point. Can he make that final crawl to the ropes? Punk rolling over. That was, that's about the only way to give yourself some relief there. And you notice that Punk was engaged in some hand fighting with the grip of Harwood and now Transitions once again, and Anaconda Vice, this time it's cinched in deep. Harwood near the ropes, he, and he taps out. Punk makes him tap. CM Punk with a tap out victory over one and hell of a tough man. Punk. And these are our tag team champions. Imagine what they're going to do to other people. Oh, back elbow by Cash Wheeler. Dax looks for the trip. Swing and a miss there by Dax Harwood, and both oh. men collide. Good air collision there by those two guys. And Punk, to your point, FTR are the Ring of Honor yeah. World Tag Team Champions as well as the AAA Lucha Libre Tag Team Champions and former AEW World Tag Team Champions as well. Currently ranked number one as well, Excalibur. They've got gold everywhere they've gone. Yeah, they have.
10 count from referee Bryce Remsburg as both members of FTR struggle to their feet. Remsburg very demonstrative about his, uh, his call. Oh boy, is he on his tiptoes there for Ooh. a second. Uppercut catches Cash Wheeler right underneath the jaw, but he fires back with one of his own. Man, I love this. Just listen to him. You can hear him. Harder hitters they are. An intensely physical matchup. We expecting nothing less. And now, hit, oh wait, hit, hit the shoulder fake. Looked like he was going for a pile driver. Jackknife. Uh oh, deep hooks in. No. I thought that would result in more than a. Uh, oh wow! Look at this. Roll up near two. fall. That's another near fall. CM Punk, you must love this, buddy. This is great Matt wrestling. These guys yeah. are doing some great stuff. Yeah, I, I think I'm the, the most excited about this match. And it's funny, too, because, like I said, not a super fan of these guys. Sure. Oh, Look at that. Link shot. Powerbomb reverse to work on Rana. And let's oh. hop. Let's oh. hop. Oh. 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 And another near fall situation from these two regular tag team and world renowned tag team artists. They're businessmen. This is about Owen Hart. This is about Owen Hart as a father, as a husband, as a competitor. And both these guys want to show out and prove that they belong. Slingshot Liger bomb to no. Wheeler able to kick out. Fans are showing a great appreciation and respect for these two men who are laying it out there. Yeah, we are witnessing a great wrestling match in a great wrestling city. But only one can advance to the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. Great crowd on hand here tonight, by the way, too. Philadelphia, they love their Midnight Express. They love their FTR. Cash Wheeler up on the shoulders, th thinking victory roll. No, nope. nope. Dax able to counter. Uh-oh. Oh, well, look out. Oh, oh, boy, that's you doing. The power driver scored a big hit. Look a leg. One, two, go. Now you're getting into the nitty gritty here. You're doing damage to your own tag team partner's neck. Right. Right. And all his legal. brain. All legal. I don't know if he's got a brain in that head of his, but that will hurt your neck. Everything they've done has been legal. You're right. And a good point. You're damaging your tag team partner moving forward. But again, it just shows the, the, the heart of both these competitors. And just how much it means to compete in the Owen Hart Foundation tournament as well. It's just how much respect and love the talents had for Owen Hart over the years. And all the years I've been in administration and beyond, uh, he was the most respected athlete that I ever, ever was ever around in this business. Rarely hear anybody say anything bad. Oh! Just a wonderful human on every level, JR. You're yeah, right. Well, it's a sweetheart of a guy. Dax came crashing down on that top turnbuckle, and I think actually his his knee brace may have gotten caught on the turnbuckle, and that's the only thing that prevented him spilling to the floor. Yeah, good call. Show you how bad these guys want to win, fellas. They're doing things like this. They're in Never Never Land. They're in No Man's Land. They're in wherever land the hell you want to be. Oh boy. Look at this. Dax. Oh, the counter. What? One, ten. two. No. Well, that's a half a count away from a victory. Great counter by Harwood, making the adjustment in midair. That's a thinking man's wrestler right there. Take another look at this. Harwood comes crashing down on the body of his partner and very nearly scored the win. That was a receipt for that pile driver. <laughs> Cash sends Dax Harwood into the ropes, looks for the trip. Dax able to avoid cross body. Oh! Both men spill to the floor, and look at this. Cash Wheeler comes up clutching his right knee. Well, we don't want to see that. No, that, that, that has changed the complexion of this matchup. Kind of taking the air out of the crowd too, somewhat, because this match is just flowing along, kicking ass, and then now this. Well, Bryce Remsburg, count out. I would. I mean, do both both men can they answer the bell here? That's a good question, and, and I wonder exactly if one of them can. What exactly is going to happen on the outside? Outside is. Oh my God. Well, they better also get their ass back in the ring, and they're both going to be counted out. Nine. Perilously close. 
with both men answering the count, but you can see the toll. And the fans appreciative of the fact that this match will apparently continue. Now look at Dax. Dax is looking at Cash's leg now. Because again, oh. that's his tag team partner. He's going for the sharpshooter. Yeah, he is, buddy. Oh, but Dax having second thoughts, maybe. And here's where you got to make a decision. He should have made that decision before he got into the ring. You got to wrap that leg up, right. and you got to sharp that shooter. Let's go. Yeah, again, check your motion to the door. See you. Oh, it's that cradle, fellas. It's that cradle. Counter. Oh! Dax wins. The winner of this match. Dax Harwood. What a counter to win it. I mean, he pulled that one right out. With all the quick pinfalls, I had a feeling it was going to be a maneuver like that. A pure wrestling maneuver. And Dax looked like he was having a little bit too much sympathy for his partner, Cash, and his knee. Look at their, they're both overcome with emotion right now. And honestly, who can blame them? Outstanding competition. Great love between these two guys. Yeah, that momentary hesitation very nearly cost Dax Harwood, but he was able to shift the momentum for just three seconds. And now he has qualified for the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament, joining Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Samoa Joe. And it's nice, field. it's nice to see that these guys embracing afterwards. We still get to see some FTR tag action, apparently. And when you're the best tag team in the world, arguably, you don't walk away from that. These guys aren't certainly going to do that. And if Adam Cole were to land this super kick, I think that'd be humiliating for Harwood. Oh, Harwood avoids. The waist lock. One, two, no. Harwood puts on the brakes. Crossbody. Our leg was hooked nicely and tightly. Got a near fall out of it, did Harwood. Wow, what an opening match for this tournament, guys. Oh! Harwood went to the well once too often. The super kick lands. One, two, no! Harwood got in, Harwood got in mid air. Nobody can change the direction when you're there unless you've got some trick up your sleeve. No, you can't, JR. Good call. But still, Harwood almost made Adam Cole pay for that cocky cover. Both men getting two very, very near falls. Great energy and passion all on display. Fans are loving it here. Cole, the first to his knees. But Harwood, not far behind, but Harwood, that, that midsection of his has been worked over. Yeah, man. E even if you even getting to your feet, kicking, oh, he's going to try for the Panama Sunrise here. Oh. Oh, great catch. Great catch. Holding onto the rope that time. Nicely done. Dax. Trying to step through. He's looking for the sharpshooter. Oh, what an up kick there by Adam Cole. Harwood, you saw his eyes were on Adam Cole's hands as Cole was inching towards the ropes. He never saw that up kick coming. Right. And now, Panama Sunrise reversed. Harwood. Flips Cole through. Pile driver. Pile driver unmistakably could do it right here. Whoa! Hardwood was never he was never able to get the pinning combination that he, he needed. Yeah, it, it's because the physicality of this match thus far, JR. Yeah, I agree. These, man. these guys are spent, man. And they're, and they're beating the hell out of each other. We'll see it right here. Setting in. Boom. Pile driver and Harwood with trouble floating over into a pinning predicament. He didn't get the weight evenly distributed on the shoulders, and that may have been the only thing that allowed Adam Cole to kick out. Yeah, you could tell he was, he was spent right there on the cover. That's a good point. The cover was not executed as uh, desired. Here's a sharpshooter. Here's a sharpshooter. Dax the axe. The sharpshooter locked in. But look at this. Cole. He can't hold it. I don't know that Dax can hold it. No, he, he, he grabbed his ribs halfway through there. And notice when, when Cole starts pushing up, that actually applies more pressure. Oh. Yeah, Dax drops. Couldn't hang on. Dax Harwood, that may have been his best chance to end this match. Wow. Just pushing each other to the limit here. Oh, my God. 
Well, knocking, oh. just a body block, knocking Dax off the aprons and him crashing to the outside. Yeah, he fell on his left side as well, Excalibur. But it's, with all that said, it's still anybody's ball game. It's still, it may not look it. You've just joined us. Harwood's still in this damn Yeah, we've seen, we've seen a lot of athletes come back from a lot, a lot. And uh, Excalibur. T Tony, Dax, the, the count up to six now as Dax Harwood. Winners advance. Losers go the shower. Oh, oh Harwood oh. drops. He went to grab the ropes and now referee Bryce Rumsberg up to nine and Harwood beats the count. Tony, I was about to say, Dax Harwood noted that winning this tournament is the most important thing in his career right now. And he is currently one half of the AAA and Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. And look at this, Cole. Sharpshooter time. Oh my God. He, said he sets back, he's got locked down to Adam Cole. And not only does this target the knees, it targets the lower back, the ribs of Dax Harwood. He's getting dragged back towards center. You're right, if he sits down on him, which he's done, my God, he's in the center of the ring. Great strategy. And Harwood, look at this, he's he's bridging up. He's he's trying to, trying to walk to the ropes, but he's forced to tap out. No questions asked. Adam, cool. The sharpshooter did it. Adam Cole wins it. And Martha Hart's here is our guest, and we love seeing her and her family. And here is the updated bracket in the Owen Hart Foundation Men's Tournament. Adam Cole advances, and he will face the winner of our main event tonight. Wow! Just a two! Can you imagine getting beat by your own finisher move? And Wheeler! Clearing the deck by Mark Briscoe, right to the back of the head, to the pituitary gland. Tries for the right. It's Wheeler sending Mark Briscoe into the apron. And Wheeler, DDT. My goodness. Jay Briscoe on the outside with Wheeler now. Fireman's carry position. Oh my oh. God! Spicoli driver on the outside. Harwood in the middle of the ring, which means he is in control of what happens if Jay steps in. Kick to the midsection. Harwood here, front face lock. Jockeying for position on the apron. The top rope is the fulcrum. The replay tells the story of two men, flesh, bone, blood, sinew, tendons, crashing onto this, this two, three-inch mat. Doc Sampson out right now. Doc's out life and limb on the line. That's what this means to these guys. They are putting life at risk. They're putting everything at it. That was a long fall to the floor, unforgiving floor. Referee Paul Turner. It's ultimately his discretion. You see the head Harwood's nod. He said, hey, oh. see, I can still go. And, and yeah. that was the doctor asking him if he could feel his arm, if he could feel his legs. And he answered, I can still yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. I want, I want to wrestle this match. That's what he answered. So Not he didn't say yes. Right. <laughs> right. He, he didn't say yes. I feel it. He said, yes, I can still go. And as you see, the head of Mark Briscoe now open. The fans rallying both the Briscoes and FTR back to their feet. The 20 count being administered here. Briss goes into the ring first. The champions make their way to the feet. FTR Wheeler trying to get Harwood inside the ring. He does. The count is broken. And, and Wheeler maybe trying to position Harwood so that he can make a tag to become the legal man here. Well, both teams are trying to unify each other, trying to find out where each other is. There's a lot that's happened in a short amount of time. They are both regrouping. These guys are super athletes, but they're also human beings. All four men back to their feet. However unlikely that sounded just one minute ago.
And as the forearms are delivered, no clear advantage yet for FDR or the Briscoes. Wheeler charging in. Mark Briscoe will lace him over the top. Harwood, boot to the face. Harwood by himself. In there with both Briscoes. Mark Briscoe to the top. And, and Briscoe trying to shoot away Wheeler. And oh, there, my goodness! Corkscrew on to Wheeler! That's a changing game plan right there. Mark Briscoe was waiting. He was waiting for Harwood to get to his feet. He saw Wheeler on the outside and made the call because he knows Jay is still on the inside. That's how much he trusts his brother. And these two men who have been firing live rounds, live verbal rounds, for the greater part of the last nearly four months. It all comes down to this. Ugh. On spaghetti legs, Harwood connects into the jaw. Jay Briscoe returns fire. Oh my God, these punches. The fan is going home with a tooth tonight, man. As both men struggle to make it to their knees, just crumbling, crumbling to the ground with each blow. But neither man willing to see it an inch. You can see by the stance that neither guy's legs are under them. Mm. Both men trying as the pace intensifies to get the upper hand. Jay Briscoe able to grit his teeth to take a lot of that impact. Ooh. Now Jay Briscoe, Harwood, oh. He's in place. Ooh, he certainly is. Mark Briscoe to the top. Froggy Mo! Hook the leg to end. My goodness. The resilience of Dax Harwood at this point. The resilience of everybody inside of this match. Paul Turner has done a magnificent job keeping control of this match, letting these competitors fight, let them settle this score in this championship encounter. The blood pouring down the nose, the eyes of Mark Briscoe. Mark Briscoe, he's signaling, I believe he's calling, looking for the doomsday device, tag made. At this point, it doesn't even matter who wins this match. The fans won this match. The people that bought the pay-per-view, they winning. And Jay Briscoe has Harwood on his shoulders. It's Wheeler. Big time chops. Wheeler's down on the apron. Harwood out of the way. Oh, connects on Jay Briscoe. Connects on his own brother. Jay Briscoe out. That's it. Big oh ring. my goodness. March by itself. Big March ring. by itself. One, two, That's it. Three. Oh my God. The winners of this match and new Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, FTR. Unbelievable. A match that lived up to every expectation. And then some, here it is, big rig. Planting a picture perfect. Sometimes you only need one shot. Yeah. And it needs to be a direct hit. When you get the opportunity, you need to seize it. They did carry Silken inside the ring, a Hall of Famer, raising the hands of Wheeler and Harwood. And there you see it. Yeah, that's the fun. And they, they defeated two Hall of wow. Famers here tonight. They defeated Jay and Mark Frisco. And I, I hope this isn't over, Caprice. Nah, this match could have went either way. Definitely could have went either way. I believe respect was earned by both teams. Let's see if the code of honor plays out. There's no way you can fight and go this far without earning respect of your opponents. It's not possible. Authenticity was brought into question when this match was signed. Yeah, they're but, ready to meet him in the middle. But both teams showed they were the genuine article. These two teams, are, I think, are, are way more alike than they even realized. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to see these guys fight again. This may be the beginning of the greatest rival.
Yeah, standing ovation. There's nobody sitting down. Outstretch hand. There you go. Yeah, that's respect right there. Settling it in the ring. Great shielding that time by Matt. Got it in between both members of that. Oh! Man. Nick Jackson took a header on the apron. Well, the fans are behind FTR. Look at them. They're standing. Cash trying to make the crawl. Matt Jackson. It's the up kick. Gets booted off. Oh, super kick takes him down. Just got introduced to some shoe leather with a straight kick right to the face. That was so close to being a tag. So close. And Nick got there just in the nick of time. You see the tape on FTR. Evident of what a physical past seven days they've had. First the Gun Club victory last week on Dynamite, then against the Briscoes last Friday night. The Young Bucks had a very busy Friday night as well. Oh! They defeated Top Flight, but some miscommunication right there. And he can't afford to make any faux pas. Oh, big water. Big time. Uppercut four, that shiver. And now, look at Dax firing this crowd up. There's the time. And a rousing ovation here for the hot tag. Dax Harwood wiping out both Matt and Nick Jackson. The suplex and a little bit of a Young Buck sandwich there. And nicks it to the outside. Harwood repeatedly striking and striking. That great reacts. effectiveness. Matt Jackson telegraphed it. Dax counter this. Inside cradle. Couldn't quite hold it, but Matt Sunset Flip attempt. One, two. No Dax counters. Rolls back through. And oh, nice strength. The bridge up. But both Dax Harwood and Matt Jackson with lower back issues. But now, down to a seated position. They roll through. Two. No. Well, that would have been a conundrum. Both shoulders are down, both guys. Uh oh. The punch. Oh. Bang the pile. Driver Matt Jackson got stuck. And I think so did Harwood. I don't understand why it wasn't it. That was a beautiful pile driver. It shows you the grip, determination, and the, and the distant damn neck strength of uh, Matt Jackson. Well, these two teams have absolutely torn it up. They have torn it up here tonight. Yes, it is, fans. Another like seeing AEW Live will be in New Orleans next Wednesday night. Dallas, Texas next Friday night. Right now here in Boston, the Young Bucks and FTR doing battle. Oh, Nick Jackson got a little over eager and he paid for it. On that apron, so unforgiving and remorseless. Whoa, good God. Jack sweeps up the legs of Matt Jackson. Let's not forget two championships are on the line tonight. Triple A and ROH and watch out here. See that tag? FTR looking for the powerplex here. Nick Jackson, the counter! Cash has made the tag. Is that, I think I'm right. Yep, Cash is, is the legal man, as is Matt Jackson. But right now, all four men are down. We want to help with a tag team matchup, ladies oh and gentlemen. We're all witnessing and enjoying. 18 months since the first time these teams faced one another. The Young Bucks came away with the victory that night. Who will be victorious here tonight? What a knee strike, what a common Geary, what an elbow, and a bulldog drop kick combination from the box. The Young Bucks going to work on Cash Wheeler. Ooh, you heard that one. He bore the brunt of the offense, and now the Young Bucks see their opening. Face first. But wait, Dax held on! Brain buster on the floor! Well, that will change 
one's attitude in a hurry. This match is living up to all the hype. Match Every up. bit of it. Match match up. Just skin oh, cut. Could that be it? Is it, that enough? It's got to be. No! Fans out of their seats can't believe what they are witnessing. What you're witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, is tag team history. Never going to forget this night. And we've done a, a lot of dynamites. And we, even more great tag team wrestling over our career, Tom. That's right. This wreck's right there. This is as good as I can remember. You said at the top of the night, this is a pay Oh, big ring, no counter. He blocked it. He blocked it. And look, he's got oh, the referee. Oh, 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 oh. Down south. I was in North Boston last night, Miss South. Well, that wasn't a miss right there, I'll tell you. No, it was not. And look at this, the box with the big ring on Cass Wheeler. Are they going to win it here after the low blow in the big ring? No! Wheeler was, had just willed his way back in this match. The Jacksons may not like it, but they got to appreciate the courage. You know, last Friday night, we saw the Briscoe brothers use the big rig at Supercard of Honor. Here, the Young Bucks use it. FTR both times able to withstand it. Nobody has perfected the technique quite like FTR. But here's an oldie but a goodie. More bang for your buck. The 450, the moon salt press. The Young Bucks pull it out. One, two, no, oh, again. Look the guts, the determination, and the fight in FTR. The Bucks can't believe it. Quite frankly, neither can I. There's a cover. Matt Jackson, a little bit, a little bit too much celebration. Well, he was, yeah, he was protesting, but then those tag team instincts of the Young Bucks oh, yeah. kicked in. You saw Matt go for the subsequent two quick covers. Now, where's Nick going? Oh, he's got the ROH, one of the ROH belts. Well, they, they, these two guys can be disqualified. It's not a no disqualification match. And Dax, tug of war here. Yeah. 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 The roll up here. One, two, no! no. Oh. Oh. Man, that was so close. But Knox didn't see it. Oh, come Is on. He oh, the no. No. Yeah. And he had the tights as well, but they're still alive. Fans are loving this, and so are we. That would have been it for sure. We're not for the intervention of Dax Harwood. Oh, the super kick from Harwood. The Bucks are building that momentum that they've been striving for in this entire contest. Championships on the line. This is our main event. But this could be the end of the line for FTR. Here comes the trigger, guys. You can see it. Young Bucks looking for the BTE trigger. Nick Jackson covers two. Foot's on the roll. Foot's on the roll. Knox just knows in the last second. The last moment. There you go. Foot was on the roll. That's right. Nick Knox made a good call there. He counted, at, he counted three. Here is the BTE. Watch the uh, and right the, leg. Here you go. Out of bounds. Before the three. And the Young Bucks apoplectic, but Rick Knox making the right call here. Damn right he was. And this thing's going to continue. Still looking for a, that elusive three count on either side. We're going for the Melton driver. Uh oh. Dax counters, catches. Oh, that strength. Looking for the slingshot powerbomb. Tombstone combination by FTR. And all four of these guys are just like running on fumes right now, but still going in. They're Jackson Brown. They're running on it. The oh, wait a second. What are they going to do? Call it Excalibur. BTE trigger. Yeah, baby. And now you got it. The big ring. FTR continues to win. They continue to dominate tag team wrestling with a hell of a victory over the great young Bucks. Is there anything? Is there such a thing of a, of a ten star match? If it is, 
I think we just saw the damn thing. What an incredible victory for FTR. What an incredible seven days. On Saturday, two out of three falls against the Briscoes in a rematch of one of the great tag team matches here in 2022. So, uh, Tony, first of all, I gotta say, I'm never, never gonna get used to that kind of reaction. So, thank you. <laughs> so, so, I'll follow that up by saying, I don't know if you guys know this, I'll let you in on a little secret that 2022 has been a pretty decent year for FTR. Yeah. We've had some big moments, we've had some big matches, and I don't know if any match was bigger for us than Supercard of Honor because the first time ever, FTR stood across the ring from the Briscoes and we went to war. So no match was bigger for, 20, for us in 2022 until Saturday. Death Before Dishonor, FTR versus the Briscoes, two. And so I respect everything the Briscoes have done. I respect what they've done for tag team wrestling. For 20 years, 20 years, the Briscoes have helped lift tag team wrestling up. But, Death Before Dishonor, two out of three falls. We respect you, we respect that you're family men, but you are not gonna take what we've worked for away from us. You are not going to take any of these away from FTR. We respect you, but if you think you are walking out Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, I promise you, you are going to have to take them from our cold, dead hands. So, uh, so there's this little, uh, there was this little five-year-old girl back home, and uh, her parents took her to this routine checkup to the doctor. And uh, he put her, uh, he was listening to her chest and listening to her back and, and he heard something weird and it was, uh, it was an irregular heartbeat. And the doctor said, hey, don't worry, parents. Uh, let's just go to the cardiologist, let's get some x-rays done. Let's get a, see a CT scan and MRI and see what's going on. So they went to the cardiologist and uh, they found out this little five-year-old girl had a hole in the bottom of her heart. And uh, the doctor told the parents, if this little girl worked hard, she fought hard, she could overcome this and that hole would close up on his own, but if not, they would have to do open heart surgery, which you know is a big risk for a five-year-old. So fast forward three years later and this little girl, she goes back to the same cardiologist and he does the x-rays, he does the MRIs and he looks and the hole is completely closed. This little girl worked her ass off. She fought her ass off to make sure she was healthy. And that little girl, the eight-year-old girl, is my daughter. And if that little eight-year-old girl will fight that hard for something that's not promised to her, well, daddy's got to do the same thing. Saturday night, Saturday night, daddy's got to fight that hard to bring home the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships and bring home a legacy she can be proud of. Saturday night. I, lo I love y'all too. Saturday night, pay-per-view, death before dishonor, Briscoes. I'm gonna fight like an eight-year-old girl. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. Top guys, out. And there it is, the stage just said, what a story from Daxi Axe there. Still happy for his daughter. Like coming, coming up. Movie. You gotta try and take advantage of it when you can. Jay Briscoe, he hits it. There's no referee. Come on, one, two, two, on. three, four, five. Where's Mike six, Posey? Seven. And and we don't know for sure the adrenaline you get when you hear the referee's hand come to the mat, but we just saw a visual yeah. pinfall that would have ended the match. Now, I can say this, Rick Bonnie. When you hit your best move and the referee's not there, there's a drainage that happens to you. There's a drainage that takes place. It's like, I won this match and nobody was there to see it. What do I do now? And you have to get past that. 
Jay Briscoe connects with a big boot on Wheeler. Harwood in a bad way, back again to the corner. They are laser focused and calling for catch, but he's not going to be able to help out. Oh, wait. Sees it now. I, I, sp I spoke too soon. Mark now to the outside. Caught with a forearm. FTR has a two on one advantage. Frisco trying to fight out of it. Yes, yeah, fight with everything he's got. Oh, big rig! Big rig he out of the car! He caught it! And he stacks him up! No referee! Three! He got turned up! Turn wait a minute, wait a minute. Turn, turns in! Yeah! Two! Whoa! This is the first time in history, Rick and Bonnie, in history, that anybody has ever kicked out of the big rig. In history, Rick and Bonnie. Absolute insanity to see that occur. The fans are on their feet. I'm willing to bet people at home are standing in front of their TVs, standing in front of their computers, not believing their eyes. The action that they are seeing dealt by Ring of Honor. Jay Briscoe now perched up top. It's a setup. Front face lock here. Mark sees it. Wheeler down, tumbles to the outside. Wow, Mark Ooh. got out of there. Ooh. And again, laser focused, precision focused. Mark Briscoe. Got it. Doops, Turn in play. Come on, cover two. Ooh. Everybody on their feet. Yeah. On this history making Look night. at this shot. Everybody on their feet. There's a jive turkey right now trying to find somebody sitting down. You won't. Gonna take a look at the replay as the teams attempt to compose themselves to get back in this fight. That Doomsday device took everything out of everyone. The roar of the crowd yeah. when Wheeler broke up that count. They are into this. Ooh. Shot from Wheeler. Mark just stayed right there and waited for it. And the jabs, these left jabs. Mm. That one almost blocked him. Ugh. Open hand, knife edge. Ooh, Wheeler fighting back. Shot to the midsection, front face lock here. Oh. Oh! Back to the inside. You hit those ropes and ricochets, and you don't know which way it's going. You can see Bart grabbing his arm. You can see Cass grabbing his back. Sometimes the rope does more damage than the mat. And you could argue for who had the worst of that. Both men landing in a bad way in both directions. 40 minutes elapsed time. 20 minutes remaining in the time limit. And these are two men putting their dukes up. Trying to finish this like Ugh. men. Ugh. Look at him duking it out. Hand to hand combat. Out. It's like a hockey fight. Ooh, oh, look Jay at Jay Briscoe. Chin. My goodness. Jay Briscoe, that shot to the chin. Oh, Jay. my God. Planning. Cover. Two. Roll up. One, two. Ooh. Into the clutch here. Into the clutch. Harwood reaching, but there's nobody, no ropes, no nothing. Nobody to tag, nowhere to grab, and that nowhere cut, to go. That cut above the eye, the, the yeah. blood now pouring into the eyes that blood of Dax Harwood. That stress makes the blood even pour even more. And look at this, Mark Briscoe. Clutch of his own. Wow. And that bond, that look bond, at that. teammates. They said, that bond is saying, you better not tap. You better not tap, is He's, what he's saying. Holding his partner so that he cannot tap, and that gives them just a moment, just the window they wow. needed to get to the ropes. My goodness. That's the gym partner you need right there. 
I'm glad I found you, Caprice. Yes, sir. That's me and you, baby. But you and I are not fighting for the richest prize in tag team wrestling right now. It is these two great teams in the most anticipated rematch in Ring of Honor history. The Briscoes. It is one fall to one fall. And they have raised the stake on the value of that title. And Wheeler follows Mark up. Wait a second! Oh my goodness! Car crash through the table! Yeah, you can read lips. Watch this. The replay tells the whole story and back in live action. Double leg takedown blocks the pile driver. It's Jay Briscoe. Jay Driller. Look for the Jay Driller. Oh, he got it. By himself. He Dead got center it. in the middle of the ring. Hooks the line. This will do it. Two Briscoes out of the new oh champions. My. No, they're not. How? They're not the new champions. Every situation the Briscoes or FDR have been into to finish the match on a high note, it is still not the finish. It is still not enough. We talk about being a game of inches about momentum. But when your legacy is on the line, you can throw inches and momentum out of the table. We are seeing ungodly, unhuman things from both teams here tonight that, frankly, I thought we saw it all between these two teams, and they have been proving us and everybody watching It's going for the incorrect. J. again. It's almost dead weight. Now, I don't know if this is involuntary dead weight or intentional dead weight. Butterflying the arms back down to the mat. Yeah. And the clutch leading him back to his feet to look for the Jay Driller once more. The hands are not locked. Yeah. It gives Harwood an opening. Yeah. He broke the it hands, was, gave it, him the opening. It was intentional dead weight. Yep, it was a setup. There you see the open hands across the chest. And look at the exhaustion. Rick Bonnie, you took the words right out of my mouth. Exhaustion is the word. Forearms connect. It's, it's almost an hour, Rick Bonnie. We're like 50 minutes into this match. Harwood down to the mat. Follows it back up, though. A burst of adrenaline here. Front face lock. It's going to pile drive it from the top. No, no, no. It's going to end his way. career. Jay Briscoe in trouble cover. Two. Got him. The winners of the third and deciding fall. And still, Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, if when you stare down death's door, when you stare down defeat, sometimes that human instinct lets you know that you only have one last shot. It's something in Harwood's mind told him that he may have only had one opportunity to end the match. The pile driver. The trap pin. FTR is retained. FTR wins, and everybody that bought this pay-per-view, everybody that came to see it live, leaves home a winner. This was the greatest match I've ever seen in my life. FTR, you see Harwood raising his hands. Wheeler barely. I apologize, fans. I've never seen a referee take a shot at Mike Posey's hands. I'm a little stunned. He's bleeding profusely. Wheeler and Mark Pritzko on the outside. Four connects. It's Mark Pritzko coming out at full speed. Swinging a miss. And it's Wheeler delivering on Mark Pritzko. <laughs> Not only did he land on the hardest part of the apron, but there was chain underneath him. And now he is displayed on the table. And he just struck him by his neck. Yeah. He's been getting drugged by his neck the whole time. I can't imagine these guys tomorrow or the next week. Or the next year. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean by the career shortening. A life-changing match as Wheeler up to the top on the outside. Now back on the apron. Kicked in the midsection. It's Frisco with an open hand, open hand, but he's also hitting the chain. 
and weaving a twisted web now with that chain. It's Wheeler, Mark Frisco. Mark oh. Frisco, spicy drop kick. Mike, he set him up for that. We'll pull him up inside of him. Knew exactly what he was trying to do. We're Matt watching masters of the craft right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Both teams taking two, three moves ahead. And Mark Frisco loves that bang, bang, that elbow. Mark. James coming inside. He said, hey, we can end this thing. And he has Wheeler where he needs him. And looking for the, the doomsday. And it's Wheeler. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh! He just landed from the top rope to the pile of steel chairs on the outside of the ring. Unbelievable! I don't really know if he's hurt. I want to know if he's alive. Well, we're going to take a look at the replay. Oh, God, I, I don't even know. I don't want to see that again. At least I can see him breathing. Do they, do, is he? Okay, I see. You're right. He is. He's breathing. He's moving. But on the inside, no. Harwood with a chance to end things. He's breathing, but he's not moving. Oh, Rick Jay Bryan. Briscoe, double arm. Jay just oh. him on the chain. On the chain. Cover. This could do Two. it. Oh, oh my God. What's it gonna take? I, I'm out of it. I don't know what it takes. I'm I'm worried about my four friends that are in this match. My four friends that I call. They called me on their birthdays. They called me on my children's birthday. I call them. We know each other. But these guys are hurting themselves. This is a war. I'm not worried about right now. I'm worried about tomorrow. What about their kids? What about their wives? Their, their parents? Their, they're lucky enough to have such great families in their lives. This is this is what this means to them. They're willing to throw it all away for for the stake to become the greatest tag team in Ring of Honor history. I just hope the fans appreciate the sacrifice oh. that is happening right now. They might be giving it all up. Think about the time on the shelf Jay Briscoe had. Yeah. One of the toughest men in the world after that two out of three falls match, Capri. And these guys are not finished. You can look at the trunks of Harwood. They came in the ring white. Look at that. And, and the eye on the swollen shut, that right eye, camera left. Yeah. I don't know if that's swollen shut or the top of his eyelid is cut down. Or, or if it's oh! forming that, it's coagulating that, yes. that scar, that eyelid. Oh, God. It's like a horror movie. Harwood's in deep trouble. Wheeler trying to come in. But Cash meeting a similar fate to Dax. As with a steel chair shot there. Crazy thing is how comfortable Jay Briscoe is in all of this. Again, trying to butterfly those arms, looking for another Jay Driller. Jay! Oh! Goes between the legs. We almost never see that. What can you say? Oh, no! Sticks him with the pile driver. Still on him. Cover! Two! Ooh! You and I both remember how that match ended. That's at death before dishonor. That pile driver off the second rope. We'll take a look Watch at it, it again. Unfiltered violence on the chair. That same pinning combination that finished Jay in July does not do it here tonight. Chair. What is me? What? I'm not repeating that. Fans, if you didn't hear that, I'm not saying it again. But just when you think it's over, not only is more happen, but they go to deeper depths, lower lows. They're about to hit the bottom of the ocean if they if there's any more chairs, if there's any more tables, if there's any more chains. Jay Briscoe being perched high up on that top rope. Oh. Those open hands. Oh. Again, also hitting that chain. Every time he chops and blood flies into the audience. Trying to get the adrenaline going for his partner, Dax. Getting the crowd going, the crowd pumping. Is he going to pile drive him from the top rope onto the chairs? Going to kill him.
He got a chain. Oh! What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Shot there. Two wheeler. Harwood now on the outside. Jay Briscoe. Looking for something dangerous. Well, he's dug his own ditch, if you ask me. Whatever happens, he set it up. But both guys will get impact off this. Wow! Driven into a set of chairs. Harwood definitely took the blunt of that, but nobody won that exchange, Rick Devine. And on the outside, Wheeler desperately trying to get in the ring, but it's Mark Briscoe who is holding him steady. He's trying to go inside to capitalize, but Mark not letting him. And Wheeler fighting for his life, Mark Briscoe here. Briscoe with that chain, a smart move too. And in the ring, just a two count off that superplex onto the chair. Now how much love do you have for your tag team partner that he's literally risking his life to try to get to him? And look at this, around the teeth, into the mouth. Oh my goodness. The agony, the pain. Wheeler trying to desperately save Dax. Mark knows that Harwood is in a lot of trouble. He's going to tap. He's got to tap. Wheeler trying to push through. He's trying to get it. He's out. He's out. To the sky, boy. The winners of this match and the 13th time Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, the Briscoe. A violent masterpiece was painted for our enjoyment, for the fans' enjoyment. Here today, we will figure out the human cost. We will determine the human cost at a greater date. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of this Master Priest. I'm, I'm breathless at this point, breaking the tautness of the chain, allowing Mark to get back in the match. You see the blood pouring off the eyes. Caprice, you are speechless as the, the chain around the head, into the chairs. The J Driller, Dax Harwood joining an elite group of folks who kicked out. And then the, the pile driver on the chain on the chair. The top rope superplex, almost a difference, but then it, it was this amazing, and he didn't tap out. The Briscoes, your new 13 time, 13 time Ring of Honor. The sixth time they have gone into the seminal event on the Ring of Honor calendar, challenged for the championships, and walked away. The new Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, congratulations. And, and to me, Austin, here it on, is. Here it is. Shatter machine by FTR. Oh, buddy, can he get the cover? One, two, no. Oh, my God, he had the three count. Hey, Colton, great job by Colton, like it or not. Oh, come on. No, that's smart. You got to save your tag team title. And, and, he want, and the guns want the DQ. The, of course the they guns want, the, want the DQ because that will end the match. That will end the careers of FTR. And, 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 and they retain their titles. And, and Paul's having no part of it. And that's the referee's discretion. Absolutely. He said, come on, we're still wrestling. Good call, oh, Paul Turner. Oh. Good call. And face first, right into the steel post goes Cash. Mm. And you know, you know Paul Turner doesn't want to see FTR's AEW careers end like that. Great standing it's switch. Oh, Colton Gunn with the assist. Oh, oh God, he Colton got it. Colton and Dax, they collided heads. Austin Gunn with a chance. Oh, can he get him? Two. Oh, no! so close. That was almost the end of FTR. Good gosh, that was close. What a kick out by Dax. And what drama in this match. What a night. It's been top to bottom. Absolutely. There's so much on the line here, though. There's so much. An opportunity to win the tag team titles or FTR. Thanks for coming. You could be gone here. Austin Gunn potentially on the verge of ending FTR's time in all elite wrestling. They said they'd win it or they'd walk away from AEW to end their career. And it looks like Austin Gunn is feeling the moment. And remember the guns, they've defeated FTR before. Backslide but but Dax Harwood, oh. no! Barely escaped. And oh, inside cradle by Dax. One, two, and no! Austin able to break free. Perfect inside cradle, not enough to get Austin. Jackknife cover right there. Jackknife, but oh! Yeah, Dax's body, he wasn't. Oh, oh God, come on! He watched, he watched the DQ. That's they're, they're trying to get the DQ again. Don't give it to him. 
That was some low blow. That was Yambag uh, City right there, yeah, man. Going for the bell. Calling for the bell. Oh, and wait a minute. Paul was, catch, was catch just, just, He stopped Paul Turner from going for the DQ. He's begging them. He's trying to preserve the AEW careers of FTR. Oh, wait. 310 to Yuma. It may not matter. I think FTR is going bye-bye. God, what drama in this match. How close have they come to the careers being over? I mean, we're either going to have new champions or it's going to be the end of FTR's career. That, that's what's going to happen here when this thing concludes, whenever it concludes and ends. Oh, man, look at this now. Dax in trouble. He's going to fight, man, and he is fighting for all he's worth from the top. Oh. Dax, the right hand. Austin goes down. Again, those hard strikes by Dax Harwood. For all he's worth, look at him just hanging on up top. Oh, the Colton Gunn tried to slide one of the tag team titles to... Referee stopped it. Oh, they, there's the other one. They are doing everything they can, well, every dirty trick they can pull. They're off the belts. Paul Turner's, he's completely unaware. Hey, come on, don't worry about it. And Dax, Dax may be unaware as well. Yeah, the referee has no clue that Austin has that title. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. God. It's over. It is over. And there goes the evidence. Not like this. Goodbye, one, FTR. Two. Oh. No. Hell no. Oh. Man, that was two inches, two inches from that referee's hand. Paul Turner's hand hitting that mat. 2.999 added for Nightum, but Dax Harwood still in this fight. Listen to the fans. Well, they FTR. Yeah, they understand what's on the line. This could be the end of FTR. Right now, if you have the guns, you got to keep that pressure on Dax. How much more can Dax Harwood take? Wow. Yeah. He's Damn. not backing down. Yep, yeah, that's his response to all of that. But the 310 to Yuma? No. Dax, the right hand, fighting his way out of it. Rolling over the top, thinking sunset flip. But instead. Look at, look at Cash here. Cash, roll up. That double pin here. Dax and Cash, One, double pin. Two, two. yes. Oh, they did it. They did it. Wow! Oh. The winners of this match and new AEW World Tag Team Champions FTR! Fans are going bananas here! Two time, two time AEW World Tag Team Champions Dax Harwood, Cash Wheeler, FTR, and not only that, they will remain part of all elite wrestling. And here comes Mark Briscoe making his way to the ring. Well, thank you for joining us here tonight for Dynamite. We will see you next for All Access right here on TBS. Don't go anywhere. Fans, we are back here in Calgary. Third deciding fall during the break, Nigel. Dex Harwood in a bad way. White with that death block locked in, the pressure on the knee, no one home in the corner. He had to resort to the ropes. FTR's in danger. This match is tied at one full apiece. The next full will win it, but you got to believe Bullet Club Gold have the advantage. Harwood is out. Oh, no. Wheeler is nowhere to be seen. And Jay White, the switch blade is ready to slice through the champion. And we talked about symphonies. We talked about cacophonies. And now we may be talking about turning up the band. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The best there is. The best there was. And will he be the best there ever will be? Why with a shot shooter. Disgrace to tap out to one of his idols holds. Army crawling, reaching out with every last. No, it's it. Are we gonna see it? Just wrenched in. Harwood going to the ropes. White with a momentary lapse. But the damage was done. Jay White determined to capture the gold for Bullet Club Gold. We are in hour two here. AEW.
collision. Ian Rigavani, Nigel McGuinness. It is the third oh. deciding call of this great AEW World Tag Team title bout. Nearing in on an hour between these two great teams. Oh, straight right hand under the jaw, catches Juice. You see Harwood hobbling them. And Harwood up to the top. Open hand here. On oh, Harwood. Fan Sacoma FD. Announcer, the funniest firefighters are on duty and ready for the heat. The burning sensation is back. Tacoma FD, new season premiere this Tuesday on True TV. But oh, the wait. heat now in the middle of the ring. Surely. Oh! But Harwood unable to capitalize. We take a look at the replay now, and I do. Oh, a high angle from a different angle. Both competitors clattering. And I got to point something out, Nigel. Dax landed on that left shoulder. That might have been just as bad. Five minutes remain. Five? We are 55 minutes in? Whoa. I said we were approaching there. I didn't know we'd be that close. And here comes Robert. Oh, no time. Oh no, wait a second. What happens if this remains 1-1? The champions oh. hold on to the titles, is that right? Champions retain on a draw, absolutely. Oh, there's no way, that's not fair. Oh! Cash sent in. But hold on. Look at the Why not thinking about a draw? Two and no! Oh. Jay, there's five minutes. You got five minutes. You need to tag me, buddy. Sorry. I'm trying to be as unbiased as I can, but they've earned the titles, Ian. FTR. Tell me if I'm telling lies. No lies there, but FTR with a championship effort in their own right. That is what has made this match so special, Nigel. Two of the best teams in the world. He's calling for the Swift Blade here, the Blade Runner. This could do it. Blade, no. Double A takedown. Oh, come on. The magic of the moment. No, you wouldn't. Oh, no. Yes, a look. Wood. Robinson trying to keep the hand afloat of Jay White. hands, reaching out and touching Switchblade. Oh, exhaustion on the part of FTR. Nearly an hour, they were unable to stay in that squatting position that long, and you can't blame them. Good Lord, the pace of those two teams have kept up. I'm surprised they're able to stand on their feet, let alone in that position. Nigel, we are under three minutes left in this bout. The finish line will be here for both teams before they know it. It is up to Bullet Club Gold. Look at Harwood. He's pulling down his knee pad. Why is he doing that? That's a sink or swim moment. We know compression is better for swollen joints, Nigel, but he's got something in mind here. High risk, high reward as Robinson. Maybe looking for pump friction. Oh, that swing out DDT. He won last week with it. It's dead. Double leg. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there we go. That's why he pulled the knee pad down. So he could bend better, sit down deeper. Oh no, it's genius, and I hate it. Robinson, no! No! The winners of this match by submission, and still the AEW World Tag Team Champions, F.T. Jay White and Juice Robinson, Dax Harwood, Cash Wheeler, still the AEW World Tag Team Champions. And they know who the next challengers waiting in the wings will be, Tony. Yes, and they're standing in the ring. You are not going to find a better match than two out of three ball match that we had on Saturday. It was amazing. Yep, in Calgary at Collision. You're right, Tess.
It was, I mean, and, 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 and the week yeah. before, I think it was the week before that, an amazing match, yeah. also a pull the club. I mean, the, the, but now, yeah. it's about FTR and looking at, as you I just pointed out, Excalibur, dealing with MJF and Adam Cole. Yeah, but I was going to say that you, despite that being one of the best two out of three ball matches, I can't wait for this one in Connecticut, Saturday, July 29th. There you see them for the World Tag Team Championship. Cannot wait. I'm telling you, Cole, MJF better be of their best ever. That's a tough hill to topple, meaning in the tag team ranks dealing with FTR. You know, two years tough ago hill. at Blood and Guts, FTR were fighting side by side with MJF in the Blood and Guts match. That was a pinnacle. And in two weeks at Collision, they will be facing off for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. Neither team given an inch. A lot of trash talk going on right now. Both teams trying to set the table for each other. Here with FTR, guys, we now know that you're going to be facing the team of MJF and Adam Cole on Collision July 29th with your AEW World Tag Team Championships on the line. How do you guys feel knowing that that's the team you guys are going to be facing that, uh, for your coveted titles? Uh, I'll be honest with you, Renee. I'm actually excited about it, but part of me feels bad because Adam Cole is getting dragged into this. And Adam, if you watch this, know that I like you, know that I respect you, know that I think you are one of the best in the world. But know that I hate Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Know that I know that MJF is a terrible human being. He calls himself a generational talent. Max, you are a generational ass kisser. And we are generational ass kickers. We've been with you through the pinnacle. We've watched how you are backstage. Everybody that's ever been with you, including, including your fiance, when they got to know you, they left you. So what does that say about you, Max? So Adam, I'm sorry, I respect you, but Hartford, July 29th, we have to make sure that you guys learn and that Maxwell, that you know, you never mess with FTR. And Adam, yeah, you know, I, I like you too. You're all right kind of guy, but you got one win over uh, Dax Harwood, and that don't sit well with me, and I'm not going to let it be two, okay? It ain't going to be 2-0 Adam Cole, and I could yell and scream about you, Max. I could yell and scream all day about you, but I'm not going to, okay? I'm not going to get all gimmicked up like you do, okay? Because this is real life to me. You know, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you made fun of my accent, and I understand that. That's probably pretty funny to you. I watched your match, too. I watched your match tonight, man, and I saw the little dance routine you did. That was funny, too. I think it's hilarious that you're making a mockery out of tag team wrestling. I think it's hilarious that you're making a mockery out of the AEW World Tag Team Championships. But Saturday night, July 29th, Hartford, Connecticut, collision. Mm -mm. It ain't going to be no dance routine. All right? It ain't going to be no, uh, no fun and games. We're not going to make a mockery of professional wrestling. We're going to have a fight. All right? And if I, if I tell you right now, if I said to you right now, Adam, I'm sorry you are dragged into this, but if I said right now to you, I'm gonna beat your ass, that's an understatement, Max. I'm going to beat the out of you, Max, okay? I shouldn't have said that. My little girl's watching at home and I dare you, Max. And if you said something about my wife and my daughter, I'll rip your eyeballs out. This is for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. Yes, this is how I feed my family. Yes, I love this business, Max. And if I gotta beat you July 29th, if we gotta beat you July 29th, that's what we'll do. Sorry, Adam. Top guys, out.